today we are going to do puja to shiva shri shiva as you know shri shiva is the reflection of sada shiva within us i have already told about the reflection sada shiva is the god almighty the one who sees the play of adi shakti but he is the father who is watching each one of his creation or her creation his support to adi shakti is entirely fully strengthening there's no doubt in his mind about the capability of the adi shakti but when he finds that in the play of adi shakti the people or the world as such try to disturb her or spoil her work then he gets into his wrathful mood and he destroys all such people and maybe he destroys the whole world on one side is rat who no doubt on the other side is the ocean of compassion and joy that's why when is reflected within us <coughs> we get our self realization we get the light of our spirit and we get into the ocean of joy also he is the ocean of knowledge so those who get self realized get the knowledge of the divine which is very subtle permeating into every <coughs> atom and molecule the power of this knowledge is there <coughs> his style is such that in his compassion he forgives even very cruel rakshasas if they dedicate themselves to him because his compassion has no limits and sometimes the same people who are blessed by him try to trouble the devotees of adi shakti <coughs> but it is just to create a drama a event unless and until there is some drama people won't understand we had to have <coughs> ramayana we had to have mahabharata we had to have christ being crucified we had to have mohammed being tortured all that drama was there because without events people don't remember so in the spiritual life of human beings they have seen lots of dramas between the blessings of shiva and the powers of the adi shakti as the time has moved today in the history of spirituality 
a great discovery has been made, that people can get their realization in the collective amas. Thousands can get their realization. Now we should know what is this realization we have got. What does that mean? And what is the culminating point? First of all, I have to tell you, the mind about which we speak and depend upon is a myth. There is nothing like mind. Brain is reality, not the mind. Mind is created by us reacting to outside. Either we react to conditionings or to our ego. Thus this mind is created like bubbles on the ocean of reality, but that's not reality. With this mind, whatever we decide, we know is very limited, elusive and sometimes shocking. The mind always moves in a linear direction and because there's no reality in it, it recoils and boomerangs. Thus, all the enterprises, all the projections so far we have done, it seems, come back to us. Whatever they discover comes back to us as a big destructive power or a very big shock. So one has to decide what to do, how to be out of this trap of our mind. Kundalini is the solution. When she is awake, she takes you. With that awakening, she takes you beyond your mind. The first thing is to go beyond your mind. 